Hi guys, this is Echo. You know, I go over to Goodwill's about once every two or three weeks and see what's out there. Don't generally find much, but uh, it's fun. Every once in a while, you get a couple of eight tracks or maybe a knickknack here. But anyway, so I said the other day, I was walked by where they have all the electronic stuff, and I saw they had a couple typewriters. And yeah, I see them all the time, and always see them at yard sales. Nobody ever buys the darn things anymore. But anyways, the manager of the Goodwill was there, and he saw me looking around at stuff, and I said, uh, "Well, you don't see these sold very much, do you?" And he said, "You know what? Up to a year or two ago, I would have say, yeah, nobody ever buys them." They'll sit there for a month, and then we finally recycle them somewhere. But all of a sudden, in the last year or two, they've been bought. Not for a lot. I'll sell them for 10 bucks, 15 bucks. But they all seem to be going now. And I don't know if that's because uh, collectors are catching them, or whether there are people that would like to have a typewriter that you know you can't get them anymore. And uh, when you have a forum or something like that, there are some nice things you can do with a typewriter that you can't really do off of a PC. I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, I'll tell you, you know, you guys know that I have a game room, and, and I have a lot of things in that one room that I collect things that I remember growing up kid and all that. And I've also said that everything I've got I keep in one spot. Well, that is true to some extent. But down in the basement, there's a room in there that I use. Uh, I call it my shop. But I also got some space in there that I have collected some other things too into my collections. So I thought what I'd show you guys, I'm going to take a little tour. It's not much, but uh, we're going to go down into the basement. And I'm going to show you uh, a little bit that I have in that room. But what I also wanted to show you is that I've got a, a few typewriters that I've collected as well. thought you might find it interesting. So let's take a little tour. Well, let's take a little trip down in the basement into my one little spot where I still have some collectible things. So let me show you a little of my, I call it my shop, because this is my room in the basement. That's where I do with my keeping things working that uh, you know trying to get electronics or whatever rolling it's just my little one little spot that I got to work on things and got a whole bunch of eight tracks that got to be cleaned up get new pressure pads and things like that and this is my equipment that I use where I'm always playing my Eight tracks. That's my main unit that I use, and got a couple of nice um, 201 speakers, uh, Bose speakers. Play real well with those. Got a, a nice couple cassette players. This is a real nice one too, Panasonic. And I have eight tracks all over the place. Okay, and in the back, the back area is my vintage PC little collection. These were some of my earliest videos I, I did. I guess that was the beginning of my channel, so I guess it's about yeah, three and a half years now that I set these up. Don't play them too much, but once in a while, People like coming by and take a look at them. What is kind of new is that, you know, I got rid of my vinyl some time ago. And uh, now that I've got this set up that I've picked up all these components from um, going to yard sales lately, I, I might as well go ahead and pull it back in again. 
and I went through a whole bunch of this. I got two boxes of records and picked out the ones I liked and got rid of the other ones. Uh, I actually took them back to Goodwill. But when I started talking to the Goodwill guys and they said there's a little bit interest now for the old type players, typewriters. Well, hey, let me show you my little collection. It's not much, but when I was setting this stuff up, I thought it was kind of cool to show how the technology changed. Now, here's back in the 1930s. You know, everything was all manual. There wasn't any powered use of these machines. But, you know, there I've got a Underwood um, typewriter, and, and then, of course, that's a a Burroughs adding machine. I think Burroughs actually was the first inventor of uh, the adding machines. And then I moved up until the more like the 1960s. And here I have um, now this is a AC powered typewriter and uh, another adding machine but it is powered and I remember it's just when I was a kid you know my mom was working and worked at home a lot with this place where she was uh, getting some work done and um, I guess they let her use this typewriter and I just remember that her working so much down in the living room and that and dining room and getting her work done. I'll always think of that stuff when I see that. And then the other thing I have in my collection then is moving up a little bit towards the more of the 1980s. And I actually had this electronic typewriter and uh, that's something that I wasn't going to get rid of because um, once in a while you do like to have a typewriter where you can still actually put something into a a form and uh, you know you already made form and you can use it and get it looking real nice rather than doing it by hand I really don't use it too much probably the last time I used was was 15 20 years but I like having it so that's when I decided to go ahead and put these other eras of those kind of equipments so I've got my little shop is not much different than my game room in the in the first floor because whatever I have I, I filled a darn thing up so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit more of my tour well we've gone through a lot of technology with typewriters is when they first came out which was probably in the early 1900s those were very manual units and took a lot of power to push the keys down then as we got into 1960s where we had powered typewriters so much easier on the secretaries and take a lot less tiring the your hands and then, uh, before we know, and uh, starting with the 80s, we are uh, finding ways to use, to print out things using our computers. And typewriters started to become obsolete. And they basically have. But there still is a little bit of use of those. It's because if you've got a, a form already made, and especially if you don't write very clean, those typewriters can still make it look very good. And it's good to have those forms. So I don't know whether they're coming back a little bit or whether it's collectors picking them up. But I like the little collection I've got. And I just thought I'd show you what I ran into both Goodwill and going through a little of my shop in the basement. So that's it for now. This is Atco. Signing off.